we believe that the combination of recovery and an Indigenous programming that provides uh, much needed cultural services and uh, access to employment programming, we think that this strikes a, a real balance between the tensions between the province and the city. New details have been released on the Skaha Lake Road supportive housing project in Penticton and were presented to City Council on Wednesday, hoping to bring clarity to the project's direction. What we've proposed with this obviously is the partnership with the Okanagan Friendship Centre that really provides uh, uh, in Indigenous cultural programming. But I think one of the things that for the community really has been very vocal about is a desire to see recovery housing happen in the community and so that's what our pro proposal is uh, really encompasses is focusing in on like a second stage model uh, where people that are more committed to their recovery they're held accountable for their efforts to address any substance use issues so really that's what we're proposing for this project. Wellness does the operations of, of, of the facility and then we're going to be bringing uh, mental health addictions uh, vocational uh, skills and cultural support. So it's um, that, that, that duality that we can put together. City Council asked for an independent audit of the three BC Housing Supportive Housing Projects back in January, which they want to be completed before they allow a fourth on Skaha Lake Road. As, as the public knows, the province has submitted a development permit application, um, uh, and so that's sitting with the city. Uh, from our perspective is is that uh, you know these are battles or disputes that are happening between the province and the city and what we're just trying to do is bring forward I think a, a made in Penticton approach to uh, the community's very significant addictions and homeless needs in the community. Residents and business owners in the surrounding area have brought up concerns with a supportive housing building going up on Skaha. You know we, we operate in, in Penticton so we, we really care about what individuals in particular of wanted need and, and claim that you know the, the services they'd like to see I mean that's that's how we adjust our programming so hearing from both individuals that are in housing uh, situations as well as community uh, asking for this level of support this is something that's you know been brought to our attention that we feel that we can provide we're open to hear people's concerns and and validate the fact that they are concerned about what they see in our community when it is to relating to to homelessness and addictions and and uh, and so we want to be able to listen to that and we want to be able to welcome feedback and input and uh, you know and you know talk about what we know and 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 uh, convey the things that we are really trying to put together as we go approval for the development of the housing project will still need to be passed by City Council. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.